Let us look at the S-parameter measurement capabilities of this instrument. Any two-port device can be described by a number of parameter sets, H, Y, and Z parameters. But all these relate to, relate to total voltages and total currents at each of the two ports. However, at higher frequencies, this becomes a challenge as equipment is not available to measure total voltages and currents. And also, uh, active devices become unstable when terminating by a short or an open circuit. Due to these reasons, it is most suitable to use traveling ways instead of total voltages or currents. Hence, S parameters are a preferred method of characterizing a device at RF and microwave frequencies. As a two-port device is most commonly used, let us look at the derivations of the S parameters for it. A two-port two block can be realized as a matrix as shown. Here, A1 is the incident power wave to the device which could result in portion of the wave being reflected back to port 1, as indicated by B1, and a part of the wave being transmitted through port 2, as indicated by B2. Likewise, an incident power wave at port 2 is indicated by A2, and this would result in waves B1 and B2. This matrix can be expanded to equations which is useful in calculating the S parameter values. If port 1 of the VNA is the source, it is assumed that the port 2 is terminated by a characteristic impedance. Hence, A2 would be 0, and thus we are able to solve for S11 and S21. Similarly, with stimulus at port 2, we can solve for S22 and S12 by assuming A1 equal to 0. So as a general rule, an n port device has n to the power of 2 as parameters. So for example, a 2 port VNA would give you up to 4 as parameters, and they are S11, S21, S12, and S22. The numbering convention for S parameters is that the first number following S is the port where the signal emerges, and the second number is the port where the signal is applied. S11 and S22 provides written loss, impedance, visvoir information, whereas uh, S21 and S12 provides insertion loss, transmission gates, and delay information. In the figure shown, you're looking at a typical uh, bandpass filter measurements. A bandpass filter is a device designed to pass certain frequencies. So from the S21 response shown in the image, you can see that the filter under test has a passband from 3 to 6 gigahertz approximately. The S parameters can be viewed in many display formats, such as log scale as seen uh, in this figure. Another important display format used by many uh, design engineers to check the characteristic impedance of their device is through a smith chart.